Hi everybody and thank you for joining me for this Clicker and Phonics webinar. In this webinar, we're going to be focusing on the tools and features in Clicker that you can use to support your pupils with their phonics. We'll be specifically focusing on phonics resources in this session. So if you're looking for a more general overview of Clicker or you want some information on how to make specific resources, for example, I'd recommend visiting our training hub on our website, which is cricksoft.com. And to find these resources, head to training resources along the top, select Clicker, and that brings you to our training hub. So you can access a more broader general overview of Clicker. So in today's session, we'll focus on a range of different phonics activities, and we'll look at how you can use these activities either in isolation or alongside phonics schemes that you're using in your classroom. My name's Sean. I'm a customer experience consultant here at Crick Software. So I support our existing customers with using Clicker effectively, and I help to create the training resources that are available on our website. Prior to working at Crick, I was a primary school teacher and I taught EYFS and year one for 10 years. For today's webinar, we've got half an hour. And during that time, we're going to be looking at a range of different resources that are available to use in Clicker to support your learners with phonics. We'll have a look at some decodable stories in Clicker books. We'll have a look at some accompanying phonics activities linked to these books and some other activities in Clicker that you can use to support phonics skills in your classroom. I've just popped our contact information on the screen. If you have any questions during the webinar, please do feel free to ask them at any point. In Zoom, you can ask questions using the Q&A function. That's the button with the two speech bubbles at the bottom of the screen, and we will be there to answer any questions that you have. If you're attending through Facebook and you have a question, you can leave your question as a comment beneath the video, and someone from the Crick Software team will be there to answer your questions. If you have a question after the webinar, perhaps you couldn't attend live, so you're watching the recording, please do get in touch. We're always happy to help and answer any questions. So you can give us a call on one of the office numbers. You can email me directly. And there's also lots of help and advice available on our website. A few things to note before we get started. I'm using the UK version of Clicker today, so all the voices and spellings will be the UK versions, but if you're attending from another region, you'll have a version of Clicker that uses the appropriate voices and spellings. We're going to be looking at how Clicker can be accessed on both PC, so your laptop or desktop computer, and how Clicker can be accessed on iPad and Chromebooks. With your Clicker subscription, you have access to all three of our apps. That's Clicker Writer, Clicker Books and Clicker Talk. The phonics resources available on Clicker are organised into cumulative letter groups. And you can see those here. These are the groups they're organised into. As they're cumulative, each group contains not only words containing sounds from that group, but also from the groups prior. So, for example, group two, We'll have words containing all of these sounds as well as sapim. We're going to start off by looking at a feature called Clicker Books today, which are our on-screen speech supported books. And I'm just going to open a new screen with Clicker. And this is what Clicker looks like on a Windows or Mac PC. Clicker Books can also be accessed through the Clicker Books app, and we'll look at that as well shortly. Okay, so this is the quick start menu that we see when we first open up Clicker. And you can see here we've got the option to create some new resources from scratch. But I'm going to go to this tab here, Learning Grids Resources. Now, Learning Grids is our bank of free, ready-made, ready-to-use resources. If you haven't spent much time in Learning Grids, I'd really recommend having a look through, spending a bit of time familiarising yourself, seeing the resources that are available here. So we've got thousands of resources here, not just phonics resources. So to find the books and the resources that are most relevant to you, there's a few different ways that we can have a look through. You can use the search bar at the top. You can filter down the left-hand side to just look for clicker books, for example. 
or you can click through the subject areas. And you can see that each subject is broken down into different categories and topics, so you can find resources on the most relevant topic for you. We're going to start by looking at the decodable stories. You can find them by going to the English resource family in the sounds and letters section or in story corner and decodable stories. The decodable stories here are all listed by name and they still follow that order that we talked about at the beginning of the session. So ants in pants is phonics one, a cat nap is phonics two, so on and so forth. And in this session, we'll look at a variety of resources to give you an idea of the range of resources available, depending on where your learners are in their phonics journey. We'll start in phonics three and we'll go for hop and bump. And I'm going to filter down by clicker books on the left hand side. And you can see here we've got two different types of books for Phonics 3, a reader book and a read it yourself. And we'll start with the reader book. So I'm going to click this green button to open it. Here you can see our title page. We've got some text, our title and an image. So straight away you can be working on sounding out the title, talking about the pictures, what can you see, making your predictions about the text, all the usual things you do when reading with a child. Then we can navigate our way through the book using these blue arrows. And again, we've got some decodable text and a picture here. If at any point when we're reading and we want to hear a word read aloud, we can simply click it. Has and we can hear that word for a bit of extra support. You can also hear the whole sentence read aloud by clicking this speaker button on the left-hand side. Mum has a bag. So we can hear that sentence read aloud, read back to us, gives us a bit of support, or perhaps consolidates what we said. We can check if what we read matches the sentence that's read aloud. And these books are great because you can use as much support as needed for your learners. They're a great activity for doing as a whole class, so you could pop this up on your interactive whiteboard. Um, they could be used in small groups for a guided read or for a one-to-one -one read with individual children. There's lots of different ways that they can be used. And then if we use the arrows to work through the book, you can see that these books also include a range of high frequency words, those harder to read and spell words. So pupils are getting lots of exposure to all those words that you'll be covering in your phonics lessons as well. So that's the reader book version of this clicker book. And next we'll have a look at the read it yourself version. And for this, we'll pop back to the clicker books app. <coughs> if you're following along on PC, you can get back to learning grids to find the resource by clicking the file icon and going back to learning grids and I'm going to open up the clicker books app. Okay, if you're on the app to open your top toolbar, we're going to click here or tap to open it, go to the folder icon and select learning grids resources. And again, if we pop back to story corner, you can see we've still got all the same great books available here if we're using iPad or Chromebooks. So let's go back to hop and bump. And this time we'll pick the read it yourself version. So at first glance, you can see it looks very similar to the reader book that we just explored. However, you may notice that there's no speaker icon in the bottom left corner. These books are very much designed for children to read it themselves, to encourage them to read independently. So perhaps it may be you use the reader book initially, give them that bit of extra support, listen to it read aloud, then they can move on to this version and have a go independently. Again, we can navigate our way through using the arrows, decoding that text, talking about the pictures. A great thing about clicker resources is that they're all editable to suit the needs of your learners. So perhaps you wanted to use this book as an assessment tool to track how your children's progress is going with their phonics skills, with their reading, and we can do that by popping into edit view. So up in the right hand corner, I'm going to click this pen icon. And from here, we can add a voice recording. So on the left hand side, if I select this microphone, and we're going to add a record and play button. So from here, your learners can record themselves reading this book aloud. So to do that, I've selected my microphone. I'm going to select the microphone along the top. So this opens up our sound recorder. 
And from here, your learners can record themselves reading the text on the page. So we're going to use the red button to record. Mum has a bag. We can click or tap stop. Listen back if we need to and re-record if we need to. Then select done. And you can see now my voice recording is stored in this speech bubble to the left. Now, this is a great opportunity for you to be reinforcing things like using that expression when reading, using intonation. Children can hear that story read in their own words and listen back to how it sounds in their voice. It's also a great way to keep a record of that child's reading. Brilliant evidence for talking about at parents' evening, for taking along to pupil progress meetings, just to keep physical evidence of that child's reading and how they're progressing with their phonics skills throughout the year. It's also a really lovely way to showcase success stories to your learners. I know children I've taught in the past loved it when we would put things on the interactive whiteboard. So pictures of them, videos of them, their work. They just loved looking at what they'd been up to in the classroom. So this is a great way for your learners to be able to listen to a story read aloud by one of their peers. So you can praise that child's successes and things that have gone really well and reinforce those phonic skills that you're looking for. So once we've made our recordings, we can come out of edit view by selecting play. And you can see here, there's our voice recording ready to be listened to. Then we'll probably want to save this if we're keeping it as evidence or if it's something we're coming back to finish at a later date. So to do that, we're gonna open up our toolbar, go to the three lines and select save as. This will open up your saving options so you can navigate to where you typically save children's work and keep it to come back to at a later date. If you are using Clicker on the PC and you want to save a book with a recording in, we're going to pop back to the PC. We're going to go to the Clicker Set ribbon at the top here. So a Clicker book is a type of Clicker Set. You can see that familiar save icon there. And we can go to Save Clicker Set as and you can navigate again to where you typically save your children's work to save or share. So these decodable books are available with a reader book option and a read it yourself for each of the letter groups. So I'd really recommend having a look at learning grids, having a look at those resources so you can find the ones that are most relevant for your learners. There are lots of great accompanying resources we can use alongside these decodable books that link really, really nicely to them. And we'll look at these now. Again, these resources are available in both app and PC. If you're following along on the apps, you're gonna open up your Clicker Writer app to find these resources. And we're gonna navigate back to Learning Grids in the same way we did previously by going to the folder icon in the top left. Okay, so back to Learning Grids. We're gonna stick with Hop and Bump so I can show you those resources. But I'm gonna remove my Clicker Books filter. And this time we're going to have a look at sentence sets. Sentence sets are one of the writing resources available in Clicker, and they're brilliant for supporting your emergent readers and writers with building up a simple sentence word by word. And this one links directly to the hop and bump story we've just had a look at. So again, I'm gonna open it with the green button. So when I open my sentence set, I've got all the words needed here to build up my first sentence. At the moment, they're displayed in a random order and your learners need to decode them and think about a logical order to build up a sentence that makes sense and link to the story. We've got a picture cue here, exactly like the one in the book, so we can click or tap that to add it into our document. So now we can click or tap our words to bring them into the document. If at any point we're struggling to decode a word, we can right click to listen. Has. Or if we're an iPad user, we can use sound shift, which is this blue button here. Has. Bring it into the document. Then we've also got our punctuation offered in the grid too. And when we select that. Mum has a bag. Clicker reads that sentence back to us. It's a great way for your learners to check that that sentence makes sense. Check they haven't missed a word, duplicated a word, and just check that they're happy with their sentence. Then we can use the blue arrows to navigate our way through to the next sentence. For an extra layer of support, if we click this green eye here, that opens up our model sentence. So children can see the target sentence, have a reminder before they have a go themselves. These resources are a great follow-up activity to those decodable books, and there's lots of different ways that you could use them. 
So perhaps you'll do a couple together on the board, then children go away and access some independently. Could be a small group follow-up activity. It could be something that you have available as part of continuous provision. It might be something as part of a sequence of lessons throughout the week. And you could even print these as a cut and stick activity if that's more appropriate for your class. So to print these, we'll open up our clicker set ribbon as a sentence set is another type of clicker set. Then we can open up our print options here, send these to the printer, and as I said, use them as a cut and stick activity, if that's more appropriate for your learners. And it's useful to know that all the decodable books have these accompanying activities to support your students at different levels. Okay, next we're going to have a look at some other useful books for phonics, and for this we'll go back to the Clicker Books app. So we'll open that one up and we'll go back to learning grids in the same way that we've done previously. For these resources, I'm gonna go back to English, and this time I'm going to the alphabet animals. And as you can see, if I scroll down here, we've got some great book titles here for every letter of the alphabet. Now, these books are brilliant for introducing initial sounds, talking about alliteration, for those early phonics skills. So if we scroll down and perhaps if we take S as an example, as I know that's where lots of us will be starting our phonics journey, we've got this Susie Seahorse reader book option. So I'll open that one up. Then we can navigate our way through this just like we did with the other books using the arrows. And you can see the pages are full of lots of lovely discussion points talking about those initial sounds, that alliteration. And again, I love these as a whole class activity or as a small group. This might be something you do ahead of teaching them a new sound, seeing if they can work out what the new sound will be. Or maybe you use it as a consolidation activity where children are being sound detectives. How many words can you hear with a s in that sort of thing? So yeah, lots of lovely ways that you could use these books. There are also lots of other activity types available on Clicker to support your children with their phonics skills, not just books. There are activities giving children opportunities to encounter new letter sounds, listen to them, practice saying them aloud, practice their blending and segmenting skills, and we'll have a look at those now. So let's have a look at where we can find these. I'm going to stick with the apps this time, but this time I'm going to go for the Clicker Talk app. Again, PC users, you can access these on Learning Grids, just like the other resources. So if we pop back to Learning Grids, and we'll stick in the English sounds and letters, but this time we'll go for Phonics 7. And we can see some of the resources that are available for digraphs and trigraphs. If you're following along and your learners are at an earlier stage of phonics, absolutely pick an earlier phonics group while you follow along. Okay, so in Clicker Talk, we've got talk sets, which are great for speaking and listening skills, oral communication, speaking confidence, that sort of thing. So let's start by looking at a listen and say activity, and we'll go for the OI activity. So I'm going to open this one up. Now, this activity is great for your children to be able to learn and practice saying the phoneme OI as a discrete sound and within words. And these listen and say activities are available for all the phonics groups on Learning Grids. So on the start page, you can see we clearly have OI displayed here, as well as a selection of images of words that also contain the OI sound. So if we click or tap the images here. OI, OIL, COIN. We can rehearse and familiarize ourselves with these words. Then using the arrows, again, we can listen if we need to. Oi. And then we can record ourselves saying that sound using the sound recorder that we've looked at previously. So we use the red button to record. Oi. Done. And you can see now we've got this speech bubble. And then we can navigate our way through, adding those recordings in. Oil. And when we pop back to the start page, we can see which ones have got recordings. I love these as a small group activity or for an intervention group. It's just a lovely alternative way for children to be practicing those sounds, listening to themselves say it aloud, really consolidate those sounds. 
Again, you can save these resources. They're great for saving as evidence or for sharing with peers. So again, open your top toolbar, go to the three lines and select save as. If you're on the PC, it's just like we've been talking about, go to the clicker set ribbon and save your resource there. The next feature of Clicker we're going to have a look at to support phonic skills is matching sets. And these resources are currently only available on PC, so we're going to stick with the PC version whilst we look at these. So I'm going to open up Clicker, and we're going to head back to Learning Grids. And this time we'll go for Phonics 5, we'll pick somewhere in the middle of where we've been looking. Down the left hand side I'm going to filter by matching sets. And you can see here I've got a few different resources. We've got the Listen and Blend activity, the Sounds and Letters activity, and the Blend and Match activity. Let's start with the Listen and Blend. Okay, so if we use this blue arrow, here we can click the speaker. Z -i -p. And hear that word, read aloud, segmented. Then your learners can blend it together and find the matching picture. Well done. When we make the right choice, we get that well done prompt and we can carry on working our way through. W -e -b. If we make a mistake, try again. We get that try again prompt so we can work our way to success. These resources are lovely to include within your phonics lesson or as a follow up activity. It might be something you have on your interactive whiteboard during continuous provision. I love these even as just when you've got five minutes before lunch and you want something valuable to do, these are lovely to pop on your board just for some consolidation. As I mentioned earlier, all these resources are editable. So if we go to that very bottom left corner and select Edit Clicker Set, that takes us into Edit View. And one of the useful things you can do here is if we go to this box that says Choice, currently we're just matching that spoken sound to the picture, but we can edit that to be a picture and word, for example. And you can see over here on our preview, all the words are now written underneath the picture too. Helping children to make those connections between the written and the spoken sound. If we select go, we can see this resource in action. And there's those words just for that extra layer. Okay, let's pop back into learning grids and have a look at some other matching sets. We'll stick with phonics five, but this time we'll go for sounds and letters. These activities are great for recognising new sounds when they're written in isolation. I know things can get especially tricky for lots of learners when you start introducing digraphs and trigraphs into the mix. So with this activity, we can hear them all read aloud, then start matching the spoken sound with the written one. So we can listen here. Z. Well done. Again, we've got that well, well done prompt and we can move our way through. W try again. Or we can get that try again prompt and have another go. This is just another lovely phonics activity to introduce into your classroom um, and it's really intuitive so children can access it independently. Finally, let's pop back to Learning Grids and look at that final activity with the matching sets. Blend and match. And this one is all about listening to the segmented word matching it to the correct blended version. So again, we can use the speaker. W -e -t. Well done. And work our way through, making our choices. V -e -t. Well done. So just another lovely thing to introduce alongside your normal phonics teaching. I know as a former EYFS and year one teacher, you're always searching for new ways to get some quick phonics activities into your day. So there are so many lovely options on Clicker that your children can use really independently. Okay, a few final things to note before we come to the end of the session. Just some useful things to know and some resources for you to be aware of. I'll pop back into Learning Grids. And again, I highly recommend just having a look through finding the resources that are right for your children and the stage of phonics that they're at. If you are looking for resources on split digraphs, 
if we pop into the English section and go to vowel sounds, I recommend having a little look through here and having a look at these resources because these will be great for those learners who are learning those split digraphs. And another resource I'll point out is in Story Corner. And Clicker Friends and Planet Wobble are some really lovely books to be aware of. If your child has gone through those sounds, they're really familiar and confident with them, but you still want to be exposing them to all of those sounds, all of those phonic skills, the harder to read and spell words, common exception words. The Clicker Friends and Planet Wobble books are really similar to reading scheme books that you'll have in school. And if your learners are at an earlier stage of phonics, we've got some lovely resources available on rhyming. So you can find those in the English section. And if we go to rhymes, definitely come and check out here. There's some lovely rhyming resources here available for your learners who are at that phase one stage of phonics. And another resource I'll point out is our animal sounds matching set. So I'll just search for that using the search bar. And we'll open this up. Again, this is lovely for that phase one phonics, thinking about those environmental sounds, things like that. They can listen to that animal sound and then match it to the right animal. I know my last EYFS class would have loved this, so really worth a look. Okay, we are now coming to the end of the webinar. So I'll just pop my contact details back on the screen there. And please do make a note of it in case any questions come up. If you have any questions at the moment, pop them in the Q&A box and we will be around to answer them for the next couple of minutes. When you leave the webinar, a survey will open in your browser and we'd really appreciate it if you could take a moment to fill that in so that we can continue to offer high quality webinars. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me today and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye everyone.